What's up gamers and welcome to my channel and in this video what we're going to be doing is fully upgrading the brand new Conjo SJ vehicle that just came into the game. So if you guys have not bought this yet we're going to be going over this located in the southern San Andreas section. Here is the vehicle right here this little green one over the second. So this thing is uh, well over a million dollars and that does not even include all of the upgrades that I'm about to put on this thing which just let you guys know too the two brand new vehicles that just came into the game the Postlude and the Conjo SJ are going to be very upgradable vehicles meaning there's going to be a lot to upgrade here and we're going to be going over all of this stuff so you guys can have a good idea if you want to buy this vehicle or if you don't want to buy this vehicle and just showing you all of the customizations okay as we go through this real quick so here's all the bumpers I'm gonna choose this one and then back bumpers we'll go through all this stuff I don't really like the one with a lot of stuff sticking out there so I'm probably not gonna choose that one like that right there I don't like all that stuff sticking out that's gonna mess me up I'm gonna choose this right here all right cool uh, moving down the line so this is really awesome about this is we've got like all this engine stuff right here so we can totally customize our engines and then check this out too you guys skull liveries on your engine can you believe that that's awesome insane because why skull liveries is actually like one of my favorite liveries in the game so i'm definitely going to be rocking the skulls livery so when i go to a car show with this thing i can just like pop open the hood and people will be like oh you got the skulls livery in there that's totally awesome on an engine right yes all right so we'll go through like all of these whole bunch of different you know things you can do I'm probably gonna choose that one right there let's go through all these and show you guys a lot of different stuff to choose from here for the engines and how you want your engine to look and I can only imagine that in GTA 6 we'll get even more car customizations which will be totally awesome here's all the exhaust pipes right here I'm not really sure if you guys are too much into exhaust pipes but you know there's not a lot of people that are gonna point out that you know your exhaust pipe is like the best in the game or something all right so here we go this is the next little part right here I'm probably gonna put something on here just use this one maybe all right cool go down here we get these little things not really sure what these are good for probably just been <laughs> spending more money all right now this is the cool thing that I wanted to show you guys is the hoods look at this hood right here Dude, it's like see-through, but it's like the same color as my car, the green chameleon. Bro, I'm definitely going with this one right here. That is awesome hood for sure. I love the fact that you can like see through it too. And like if I have the Skulls livery on there too, you might be able to see the Skulls livery through there. I don't know, but I think it makes the car itself look pretty sick. All right, so interiors. Let's see like a wide range of varieties what we have in here although it's a little bit difficult to see when I'm in first person like this same with changing of the seats and stuff and then you can do the doors if you guys can see this right here awesome and then we got all those choices I'm just gonna choose one of them and then for seats right here once again I can't really see the seat the best but I do want something with those green straps it doesn't really matter these kind of look like gaming chairs instead of uh, I don't know car seats it seems like all right we're just gonna go with this one I just want to show you guys all the different designs that they have in here and then you can see my friend <laughs> over in the distance there he's modifying his car as well right now cool we're just gonna go with that one and then we got steering wheels right here Ooh, I like that green one yeah I'm probably gonna go with the green one right there I like that green design Showing you guys all the different designs of steering wheels that they have. Not the widest selection, but still, it's a lot of customizations when it comes to this vehicle. Moving down the line, I'm gonna show you like all this stuff right here. All right, liveries. Here we go. Yeah, showing you all the liveries here. So that's basically about it for liveries. I like these waves right here too. I think those are pretty cool. They have the white ones too. They have this. I'll probably just go with this, maybe. I don't know. It looks like it's like scuffed up or cut up or something like that. I just wanted to show you guys all of the liveries for this. And then here's the mirrors. Got to get yourself a good mirror. Even though rear, rear, mirrors don't even work in the game on your car. 
Not even the next generation, but here we go. We're just going through this and showing you guys all this stuff here. So I definitely want to go with a roll cage, probably, you know? Don't know if you're going to be rolling your car, but most likely you will be. All right, let's go for the little back thing right here. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. You get a little bit of extra armor protection when you guys put this on right here, too. You know, just a little bit. So just in case... Oh, sunroof. Here we go. No, I like the sunroof. I want the sunroof. Oh, we go with a rack right here. We go with like a rack on there. I don't know. In case we want to put our skis up there later for Christmas, right? So just a reminder too, this is a front wheel drive vehicle. And if you guys pop the back tires on this thing, then you can initiate a speed glitch. I've already made videos on that before. I just wanted to go ahead and make this video for those of you that have not bought in the car and you're wondering how much it is potentially, is it worth it, you know, and I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. But personally, I don't necessarily like the vehicle just for the fact that it's front wheel drive and I don't really like front wheel drive vehicles. So you can see here, there's a lot of customizations for this vehicle itself and you know, that's going to run deep pockets, basically. You're going to be spending a lot of money upgrading this vehicle, and I know a lot of people have, too. And then, of course, the river method merge glitch is still working, which is why you guys are seeing my vehicle right now, have it sitting on some F1s and stuff. So here's the spoilers. You know, for spoilers, I never like to go with a huge spoiler on a car, just like something like that, but, you know, we'll put it on there anyways for right now. It depends on what type of car the spoiler is on, I, I would have to say, for what type of spoiler that it deserves. But, you know, once again, spoilers do nothing for our vehicles in performance, you know, and technically a spoiler would be put on a vehicle to ground it for going so fast that it would, like, lift up the air. So here we go, you guys. Fully upgraded Conjo SJ chilling right here. This thing is, uh, well, it cost me probably a couple million dollars now that I have just upgraded. So if you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful in any way, hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content and thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Gravesite and it's a peace.